Number 37. Why does spilled gasoline evaporate more rapidly on a hot day than on a cold day? All right, so let's paint the picture. So, oopsie, accidentally spilled some gasoline, which I highly recommend do not do. Do not try this at home. (laughs) Gasoline is very, very, very flammable, and your house is made up of wood (laughs) in the United States. So flammable material and wood foundations, uh, they don't match. But anyway, let's keep going. So we spill some gasoline. Let's pretend that the gasoline is going to be covered in, I don't know, green material. So here's the spill right here, right? And it's spilled on, you know, pavement or wherever it's spilled. doesn't really matter. But just know that your gasoline, preferably, you know, a bulk of it is going to be octane. doesn't really matter what... um, what substance you're envisioning gasoline is. But the idea is that if the gasoline is going to evaporate, that means that the liquid that is in the, uh, you know, that's on the pavement right now, that's all liquid, is going to start shooting out. It's not in a closed container, so it has the opportunity to get released. And the gasoline is going to start becoming uh, evaporated into its gaseous form. So we have gas now that's being released into the atmosphere, and that's why you smell the gasoline. Generally speaking, if you do smell something bad, that's the gaseous component of your substance, in this case, gasoline. But now why does this evaporation happen on a hot day more rapidly than a cold day. Well, on a hot day, what's going on with the temperature? The temperature is increasing. It's getting hotter, right? And as you're increasing the temperature, that means that your, uh, basically your kinetic energy is increasing. So with higher temperatures comes more heat and more motion because you have more kinetic energy. So we'll say more kinetic energy of molecules. Now keep in mind that maybe if I can maybe do this in blue, but the liquid, right? You, you can't really see that. Maybe, maybe I'll draw it as like uh, these guys. So... If I identify what these molecules actually look like, they're kind of pretty close together still. It's still a gas, right? But once you turn it into a gas, uh, sorry, they're still a liquid, right? So that's why they're pretty close to each other. But once you turn them into a gas, they're going to be basically acting as independent molecules. And one's going to shoot out this way, the other one's going to shoot out this way, this way, and this way. Now keep in mind that your gaseous material is always going to be moving faster than your liquid material. And that's why you have higher kinetic energy, because you're forming a gas, you're evaporating. Now just know that why is this happening? Well, always know that As you increase your kinetic energy, the amount of intermolecular forces uh, you're trying to overcome is dropping. So it's always an indirect relationship between kinetic energy and intermolecular forces. So um, as you are evaporating on a hotter day, these molecules are gaining the kinetic energy because there's more heat that the gasoline is absorbing so that it can phase change into the gas. And because it's doing that, it's overcoming those intermolecular forces in order to make them act as independent molecules. I mean, these are like ripping through. They're they're so fast. That's what gases are. Those like little lines indicate that they're fast moving. And this is basically the end. So just know that on a hot day, since you're increasing the temperature, 
increasing the heat, you are having more kinetic energy, which is the energy for motion. And the gases are always the fastest moving. You're forming more gases. You're lowering the amount of intermolecular forces because gases have the least intermolecular forces. And that's why the gasoline can evaporate. So basically all of this is the answer into why that gasoline will evaporate more readily or more quickly on a hot day than a cold one. And that's it. I hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay? Toodaloo. Bye-bye.